Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Transformers Generations Thrust figure. Now, um, this is actually the only Decepticon we got in um, Series 1 of Generations, at least um, this new launch of the Generation series. But he looks great here in packaging. Of course, he's in his alt mode, which is the jet. Of course, um, some very nice packaging on these boxes in general. They've got a lot of nice little cuts to make it look like circuitry. Of course, your Decepticon logo over here. Um, and he is a level 2 transformation, which is easy. Of course, down here you have your hub network sticker. On the back of the packaging here, you can see what he looks like in his robot mode. And his read-up says, Thrust was great to have around during the early days of the war when the Decepticons won victory after victory. His thundering engines and shouted threats terrified the few Autobots that stood against them. It wasn't until later, when the Autobots got organized enough to put up a real fight, that Thrust began screaming like an alpha unit and fleeing at the first sign of danger. Of course, up here it says, twin cannons with firing projectiles, two launching missiles. And it also says his strength is a 6, intelligence 3, speed 9, endurance 8, rank 6, courage 1, fire blast 7, and skill 7. So that being said, this guy looks great in packaging. Let's pull this bad boy out. And here we have Thrust in his jet mode. Um, Just a little, little quick side note. These two did little pieces right here did come attached under his tail fin, but... The box does depict them up here. It's a really simple transition. You just pop them off, pop them right back on. No big deal at all. A really nice looking jet though. I really like how they did the dome up here with the clear yellow. You can see the seats on the interior. Of course, if you for some reason you did want it just laying on the ground. Fits just fine. It's got the little wheels like it was landing. Um, but as I've said a million times over, I don't know anybody who gets Transformers and then just keeps them in their alt mode unless they have more than one. So, Oh, but really quick, his missiles do spin in their jet mode. And you just press this button and the missiles fire. That being said, let's go ahead and transform Thrust. And here we have Thrust in his robot mode. Although, um, interesting problem I ran into, according to the um, instructions, this is what Thrust should look like when he's finished. Although there are a few key differences to the back of the box, um, one being that his wings aren't flipped over and that his, I don't know what the technical name for these things are, um, they should be attached to the wings up here, which um, is easy enough, you just peg those off, but I couldn't seem to get the wings to flip around right to um, make the back of the box image transformation. Still, though, an awesome looking transformer despite all that. I really like how the, um, which they've done this many times, but I really love how the jet center fold, the um, jet cockpit folds up into his chest cavity, the wheels flip around to make it look like turbines up here. Just an awesome looking figure. Of course, um, his missile launchers, which are up here, of course, still fire. Um, his articulation, he goes forward at the leg, back, knee joint. Um, no real ankle joint, although the ankle does flip up. Of course, his arms four, would do a full 360, little hindered by the wing. Bend at the elbow, and of course the wrist flips in, but no real articulation outside of that. And there we go. So, um, an awesome looking transformer, and like it said, with the exception of those few small issues that I ran into with the, um, not 100% sure which one was the correct transformation, the back of the box or the instructions themselves, a very easy to transform figure. Um, the Generations line is only running you 10 bucks a figure, which is a steal in my book. I'm um, an awesome looking figure. The only Decepticon we've got from this line, so a must have. And that being said, this is J Train 997. I definitely recommend going out and picking up the entire Generations line and Thrust. And that being said, this is, I'll see you soon, YouTube.